everybody, and welcome to episode 133 of Daisy Knits. And I'm Daisy, and it's been a while since we sat and chatted. So life happened all over. Um, I did a little traveling. I had some sick kids. I was sick. We're all trying to bounce back, but it meant that just really I didn't sit down and chat with you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, I also had very little knitting progress to show you. So, you know, when you get monogamous on a giant sweater, I felt like there wasn't as much to show you as well as sometimes knitting just didn't happen. So, big project's over. I think everybody's on the way up and much better and not going through the household anymore. So, hopefully we'll get back to this. So, I will share big finished project. Are you ready? The Groot sweater is finished, finished by the Knitmore standards. <laughs> the knitting is done. It's it's actually very massive. Um, nice, long, beautiful sweater and beautiful cable panel across the back. I actually blocked it yesterday um, and I'm really excited to wear it. However, buttons. I wasn't really thinking about buttons and um, I have two beautiful buttons that I loved, but this sweater takes six buttons. So two is not the same as six. If I had had six buttons and only needed two, I would have been okay, but I have two and I needed six. So I spent several days in analysis paralysis, and then I finally decided on some Tree of Life buttons. And I ordered them, not really paying attention to where they were coming from, and apparently they're coming from China. So they're supposed to be here by the end of January, anytime between now and the end of January. So if your mail service is like mine currently, who knows when they will be here. However, I am still going to wear it without buttons. So it's washed and blocked and all prettied up. Um, I just took it off my board and so you can see I have ends still. They are woven in but they are not trimmed yet so now that I've actually washed and blocked it a bit I'm going to trim all those up and I will be wearing this big massive sweater tomorrow. Um, and I'm thinking I only ended up using like six balls, five or six balls of yarn so I have a lot of yarn still left. Plenty enough to do um, either another sweater or hats, mitts, gloves or something. I don't know yet. Um, I feel like the color is not I'm trying to like wonk it. The color is not very accurate here. It is a beautiful plummy purple. So I actually finished this giant sweater though and I did finish it in the month of November. So Nanny Swaymo was completed this year. Very very happy about that. Boop, boop. So I showed y'all that the last time we talked like a month ago. The other thing I showed you was some socks. I had pulled out my Captain Tight Pants and I don't even think I've actually had cast these on but I did have them out. Um, they're finished. They are just a pair of plain vanilla socks. Nothing really fancy. Um, just fun socks. These are from Into the Whirl. That's the dyer and the colorway is Captain Tight Pants. That is a Firefly reference, and I am madly in love with Firefly personally. It's one of my favorite shows. So to have Firefly socks just makes me happy. I have a kid who's army crawling over here. I'm not sure why, but he's army crawling. So I finished those as well. Um, and I have one other project, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to be knitting for the next couple of days. Do you ever have analysis paralysis? I'm really kind of curious if other people have this issue or not. So like I have a great stash in there, things that I love, but I don't know what I really want to knit next. Analysis paralysis. So the last thing I've been working on is a barley hat. And barley, everybody drink, right? I am at the crown doing these fabulous decreases right now, it is almost done. So I imagine I've just 
really maybe 20 more minutes and this thing will be completely done. I'm really excited about it. This is going to be a gift for the kids 4-H leader. Um, she had made a comment about liking my barley, so I thought it would be kind of nice to give her one of her own. And she does so much for the kids and is outside with the llamas. Uh, the pink is scrap yarn. That honestly, I don't even remember for sure where what it was from. And the multicolor is from hmm, Sarah Yarn Geek Fibers. And honestly, it was leftovers from another hat. So I have just, I'm hoping, barely enough. I might end up playing yarn chicken to finish this hat. It'll be interesting to see. Um, the other, which I didn't even bring in, I think I'm going to cast on a pair of socks this afternoon. Um, the All Roads Lead to Rhinebeck, I believe is the name of that pattern. Um, when I was at Rhinebeck last month, or no, in October when I was there, I bought some yarn specifically for that pattern. And um, I have it caked up already. I need to pull the needles. I've printed off the pattern, and it's just about ready to go. Uh, but I really don't have anything else that I've done. I finished spinning some fiber. Um, it's still on the bobbin. I haven't even ball bound that off because I'm going to do a two ply back on itself. I haven't even done that. I've looked at it a couple of times. Didn't do it. Um, Master Knitter is still all sitting up there. I looked at the binder a couple of times, but haven't done it yet. I need to. I cranked a couple of tubes out. I played with my nephews. They were here over Thanksgiving and I was showing them the sock machine and we cranked some tubes and then I um, flipped it around and we cranked back off the same tube again just because the boys liked playing with the cranking machine. So not a lot has been going on in that aspect. I mean, there's a lot of stitches in the sweater over here. So that's where most of my knitting time went. But I hope you all are enjoying your holiday. Christmas is almost here. I'm looking out the window and it is actively like snowing a storm out there. So it should be quite interesting to see how this winter goes with the storm fun stuff. If you are Christmas knitting, I hope that you have a smooth time. And if you're just knitting, enjoy your time. My goal is to sit down and talk to y'all again next week. Fingers crossed I don't get sidetracked or distracted by children in life. So I will talk to you next week. All my contact information is at the end. If you need anything, hit me up. See ya.